On the anniversary of Shakespeare's birthday for 2017, the Shake of Things Festival takes place. Of four sites, one of which is Wolverhampton's Arena Theatre. To tell me more about it, I have Stuart Reid and Kirsty Mealing. Hello. 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 So, Kirsty, first of all, tell us a bit about the, the four sites for this festival. Uh, so we've got... Um the festival is run by uh, Emerge, mm-hmm. um, which was set up by the uh, Mighty Creatives um, and funded by Spirit of 2012. Um, so there's a festival in Wolverhampton, which we're running, and then Horncastle, Tamworth and Corby. So Midland sites, yes. obviously all surrounding somewhere near even mm-hmm. uh, the, the Bard's birthplace. Yes. So it's not within the, uh, not too far away. No. Uh, but that in itself, I suppose, is, is the cultural home of the, the Shakespearean way of life. And everything sort of steps into that world in some way. Mm, yeah, definitely. I agree. It's like, especially um, I found it in uh, the Midlands, because it is so close to um, Shakespeare's birthplace, that area and the RSC, um, there's definitely a, a buzz about Shakespeare uh, in the Midlands. Absolutely, because you will have had a strange Midlands accent, yes. like, uh, just <laughs> yeah. like I've got, but obviously these two guys haven't. Stuart, with your Scottish accent up there, um, <laughs> obviously uh, an imported writer to your neck of the woods, but uh, still vitally important in the world of theatre, of course, which you're part of regularly. Yes, yeah, 100%, and that's why it was so exciting for us to get involved with the with the festival, because we were going to be using Shakespeare as a basis, and there's so much you can do, and there's so much of his stories from over 400 years ago that still really relate to today, and that's a big thing that we did with the young kids was kind of looking at how they can relate to what he talked about so long ago. Yeah, so tell us how these yeah, productions have, have all been written. What's, what's the background to the actual tales and the shows that are going to go on on the day? So basically we went into, there's three, uh, three locations involved with the festival. Highfield School, Penfield School and Wolverhampton College. So we went in, we spoke to all the young people there and just kind of asked them what they already knew and then explained some stuff and we looked at different plays and things and then we just started taking all the themes and whatnot from that and then started creating. So there's a couple of things in the festival that are straight up his plays, smaller versions of. We're we're not doing any three and a half hour Richard the Thirds or anything (laughs) like that. I think the longest one is an hour. Everything else is way less than that. They're kind of little snippets and stuff. Anything from um, Macbeth, Titus Andronicus, to someone's made up a poem based on Shakespeare's beard. You know, things like that. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit of everything. And of course, little bits of his work throughout our whole language. And I assume that's, that's a great starting point when you're talking to these kids so they understand that it is relevant today, even though it's like 400 or so years since this stuff was starting to come into being. Yeah, and um, to kind of do a nod to that, we've got a little um, station there where we're going to have Shakespeare insults. So we've got like a couple of pots and they pick out of different bits and then they can create these insults which you might have heard or you might not have so that's why and course you've used most of those on Stuart somewhere. most of them yeah, yeah. Um, like yeah. testing them out yeah, just d- it has yeah. to be done quality yeah. control yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this festival is free to attend as you say you've, you've given us the list of the uh, the financing behind it and it's great to see that sort of thing doing something so interactive with the arts and um, Probably something that that is that little bit out there. The the, the kids have had the input, so it is going to be so fresh, yet still based on uh, one of Britain's greatest ever playwrights. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It is really fresh. A lot of the ideas that they come up with is are brilliant. They're just kind of out of nowhere. They've gone, oh well, he's talking about love, so we want to do this whole dance duet. There's a Mm. a duet that's in it, which is a beautiful piece. Probably one of my highlights of the whole festival is this duet that they kind of base from Romeo and Juliet and it's contemporary and it's really modern and it is, it's a fantastic piece. So yeah, there's that kind of spread out throughout the whole festival. So, so obviously some music in there to back up with that and, and uh, is there going to be you know, sort of live band appearances that are scattered throughout? Is there that sort of thing happening too? Or is it yeah, a music as a background when it's needed? Yeah, so we have, during like that piece, we, we have a pianist from the school as well. She's going to be accompanying mm-hmm. them. That, there's not much live music, but we have uh, multimedia. So there's a couple of um, short animations that have been done that are going to be mm-hmm. filmed a 20 minute long uh, Romeo and Juliet kind of the two schools are like the instead of the two houses yeah so there's about a 20 minute video that they've shot and cast and edited all themselves as well mm-hmm. so yeah, that should be good. Mm. So lots of ways of looking at things from a slightly different angle and, and using that as part of the basis for the productions that, that are going on. And does it use all of the theatre as well, or is it just the main stage? Uh, so, yeah, we're using um, all of the theatre. So we're using the main stage for uh, the two productions, and I think we're doing the Shakespeare Showcase in there as well. Um, so we've got Macbeth, Macbeth in there, uh, Titus in there, um, and then uh, we'll have... Um, in the seminar room we're going to have a workshop for the young ones so uh, from two to six years old they get to participate in a workshop um, 
and then uh, in the Tilston area there's also going to be some stuff in there Talking as well. Of food, there is free food as well mm. at the festival so we're going to be providing like a buffet lunch throughout the day so free food and drinks as well so that doesn't make you come along. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, like, well. I like free food. Free so. food's always yeah. good, isn't it? What more could you possibly ask for <laughs> in an event? So it's going to be a, a good full day and there's going to be some interactive parts uh, which people can just turn up for or do they need to let you know in advance? No, so you can you can book tickets in advance if you like, but you can get them on the day, on the door. Again, mm. it's absolutely free. It's just a case of knowing numbers and then anything, everything that's happening has a high kind of threshold for numbers. Mm. The only thing is the two to six-year-old storytelling workshop that's a smaller number, so if you did want to come for that specifically, that letting us know on that would be good, mm. but we can do that on the day, so it should be fine. So is it all through the Arena website? All through the Arena, yeah. So arena.wlv.ac.uk, 01902 the box office number. Get in touch, get your free tickets booked in, and get along to what promises to be a fantastic event surrounding the world of Shakespeare on his birthday. Should be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you knew the website and phone yeah. number because I didn't have a clue. These are the things I'm that I do. <laughs> but uh, now have a great time with the festival. 23rd of April is the time, the Arena Theatre, the place, and do your best putting on something good for the Bard. Oh, thank right. you very much. Thank you.